You want it to be in that sweet girl we can. Don't put your hands on me. I just told you I came from yoga, stupid bitch. Do you see pockets? In today's world, there are those who believe they are entitled and have no qualms about challenging law enforcement. Well, you talking to me like a dog. Say or what? Okay. But do they learn any lessons when faced with the consequences of their actions? Join us as we explore cases where these entitled individuals come face to face with the harsh reality of law enforcement. We'll kick off today's topic with the face of this arrogant woman. You want it to be in that sweet girl we can! Don't put your hands on me! The story begins on September 14th, 2023, when an officer conducted a traffic stop on a Mercedes for speeding. However, the woman stopped the car and got out, pretending as if she wasn't the one driving it. Hey, stay inside your car. No, get back here. Get back here. I just saw you get out of the car. Uh -huh. Me too. Nope. Back to the car. Back to the car. I was never in my back car. Back to the car. I was I'm not. Put don't. You in handcuffs. Do not touch me. Back to your do car. Do not touch me. Walk back to your car. I'm not scared of you. I just want you to get okay. out of your car. Call another officer. I'm no, not leaving. Call walk, another officer. Walk back to your car, please. Call another officer. Walk back to your car, please. Okay, my That's car's all I'm right there. My car's I'm right put there. Your handcuffs. You're not touching me because I'm not detained. I, I was never pulled over. I'm not. I, and don't spit in my motherfucking face. As soon as the officer approached, the woman became hostile, screaming and using foul language to escalate the situation. She even declared that she could run away and do whatever she wanted, portraying herself as an arrogant and entitled individual. This is not gonna go well for you. Do not put Come your on. You want it to be in that sweet girl we can! Don't put your hands on me! Walk back to your car, please. Don't put your motherfucking hands I'm on not. me! I'm just asking okay. you walk back to your car. Walk back to your sh Do not walk put your, your car, hands please. on me! Do not! Put your fucking hands on one. me. Don't put your hands on me. I can run off and do whatever the fuck I want to do. Elementary, please. What Come on. Do not fucking run up on me. You ain't pulling me over. Yes, I did. You did not pull me the fuck over. Get, Get the fuck away car. from no, me. Come on. Don't put your fucking hands on me. Help! 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 Do, do it. Negative. Do I was it. on a traffic step. Yep. Help! Back to your car. 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 Back to your goddamn car. That's what I'm asking no. you right now. No. Let's go. Don't. You're gonna be in cuffs. Don't you are gonna be in handcuffs. Me. Okay. How I'm gonna get in handcuffs. I did nothing. I stopped you on a traffic stop. You know, bitch, you ask me. Why are you bothering me? It? Because you were improperly passing and I stopped you. You hopped out of your car and you're I'm not listening. I'm, I'm already on my car. That's what's happening. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I'm not going to argue with you. Walk back to your car. Don't touch it. I'm Walk getting on the car. sidewalk. Walk back to your car. You are not free to go. Do you understand? Due to the non-cooperative behavior and aggressive response from the woman, the officer decided to arrest her. However, the process was not smooth when they encountered fierce resistance from the suspect. Don't put your hands on me no more. Uh-uh. You're not free to and go. And I am free to go, you bitch. No, you're not. I'm not You are not free to go. No! Man is me! Get me the man is me! Free to go. On your stomach. You on your stomach now. I can't get on my stomach. Okay. I'm on a concrete. Stop. On your stomach. I can't get on my stomach. Lay on, on a concrete. Lay on your stomach. Fighting. You, you can have the ball. Let's go. Give me your arm. Please, on Give the ground. Arm. Give me your arm. And arm behind your back. I am right next to Fox Chase. Hold on. Oh, 731, one detained. I can't get out. Not I moving. Can't get out. You're done. Out of what? Stop. Just stop. I can't get out. Yeah, you're not it's getting like, out. Oh my God, I can't get out. Stop. I can't get out. I don't know what you're talking about. Relax. I can't get out. Stop moving. <laughs> your mom's. Okay, cool. Throw it to the one side. Make sure the lady does it before stop. I beat stop. your ass. Stop. 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 Thank you. I'm gonna do it. Okay. 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 Hang on. What do you do, bitch? Get this hair out of my face so I can no. see you. You don't need to see it. Bring you your hair in you my face. Just fine. When you okay. get real up, okay. I, I, okay. I got you. I got you. I need you. Okay, move. I just told you I came from yoga, stupid bitch. Do you see pockets? Now I'm done. Good. Stupid Despite being arrested, these erratic women still attempted to twist the narrative in another direction and continued to berate the officers with vulgar language. Suspects like this young woman should take a good look at themselves in the mirror the moment they lash out at law enforcement 
and then later try to portray themselves as the good guys. Uh, uh, I can't do it. I'd rather right, sit. Stand up. Stand up. Please get him away from me. I'll lead a woman to right, office right here. Okay. Can I get on my no, knee? No, no, no. I just told you. I can't from freaking out. out. I hear you, okay? Just give it a second. When a gun come out? It's got a gun out. Hey, um, yeah. I'm having a time. They're calling the ambulance. Okay. Yeah. I heard him call for the ambulance. A young black female yelled for help. What happened? <laughs> you don't even know. That's up. Little kids look up to like this. To be a cop like you, I'm gonna have one of them kids. <laughs> Are you saying that you're pregnant? I'm saying that you're doing a good job holding me down, sir. Thank you. What's your name? Mark Cusick. Thanks. I want to know what was there in proper stop. Where'd he go? You know, I have parked my car, have my keys, and walked. Everybody got cameras. So why he just tried to detain me? Why did he just put his hands on me? You got a lady in her car over there, people right here. I don't need a paramedic. Everybody has cameras. I was out of my car and walking away and I yelled for help. Everybody within five miles heard me yell for help. So it don't matter how mad I am, you don't never put your hands on me if I'm not detained. I know the law. She could have simply received a gentle warning and a ticket if she had a better attitude. But instead, this woman chose to resist and scream. And now she's shifting all the blame onto the officers. I'm not saying I teach for no reason, you It's justice! A ticket or I'm going to jail? Oh yeah, you're going to Why am I going to jail now? Because you fought with the police. I have video of me walking away before he got out of his car. What are That's you talking right. about? So how am I fighting with the police if I'm on the ground? What are they doing with How am I fighting with the police if I'm on the ground? I got to go to jail? I got a fucking Bertillo selling in these people. Are you guys going to clean that shit up? But I got to go to jail? I'm okay. I'm fine. I got to go to jail. I'm okay. There's 10 officers. I'm breathing out my ass. Don't want to be a cop. I know that much. You look like a female. I was quiet when the other guy pulled up and he threw me on the ground. I told, I told him I was walking home. I pulled over because it was improper passing. I'm yelling for help. I know everybody on this fucking block. I know everybody on this block. I walk from school. This, this is my route. That's my shoe, sir, yes. He kicked my shoe off. And she put her hands down my pants. And, and to check me, she put her hands on my buttocks. So, I'm okay. Right now you seem a little upset. I'm not, I'm originally, upset. Originally, 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 Sir, were you here five minutes ago when I was, I when I was pulled and over? Said to me, we just want to make sure you don't have any injuries or nothing like that, okay? That's all Did it is. Did he tell you how it's I It's just a precaution. Over. I'm not talking. Do you respect that? Yes, I do. I apologize. Hello. I do not know what you tell me. It's not the bottom of anything. I was just told I was going to jail. Yeah. And my black ass mind, I would be like, Damn. the good thing is I can go to jail every day and bomb myself the fuck out and go to court. So I'm asking, how can you help me in this situation? Not a ambulance who has one person on the ground. For what reason? Did you talk to the officer that did it? Thank you, sir. This woman could easily fabricate an entirely different story from the original and is trying to play the victim. Without body cameras, it would be challenging for the officers to vindicate themselves against the suspect's claims. Talk to me first when I actually... Stop lying, that's why I said that. You live over this way? You went all throughout my purse, my so, glasses, you touched my I, ass. I you don't know if I live out this way. To the I, school? I don't know, I, I just got So where was I walking to then? When I, don't the off, I don't know how he even found me. Do you live over here? Hold on, we're not gonna get up. I can't get up yet? Not yet. Okay. Hey, you just helped you put your shoes on, you just kicked them off. I've worked out twice today for an hour, been very busy. I'm confused why I'm getting detained and pulled over. Here's the deal. We're the paramedic. I want to go home. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's, that's all I'm telling you. The police, whatever you have going on with them tonight, has absolutely nothing to do with us. We're here. You can leave. It's either hospital or 
I don't have to go to the hospital. Did he, does he want me to go? At, please ask him who pulled me over. Does he want me to go to the hospital? I was okay walking home with my salad after not eating for two days. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay, nothing has changed, and you still seem like you're asking me questions. I'm asking a different question, okay? No, 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 no. I'll buy myself out. She just said, do who, I don't know who he's listening to, Allie, so I'm going to just stay like this until he right here. Do you want to put your shoes on or no? Do you spit on people? But I don't think that's very nice. Do you want me nice. to put my shoes on? Am I just sitting in their driveway to go to sleep till tomorrow, or what do I need my shoes for? It's up to you. Do you it's not want your you. shoes? Okay, I'll leave my shoes on. Okay. That's okay. It's, it's perfectly fine. Okay. She claims that the officer has mistaken her identity and that she did nothing wrong to deserve such treatment. She blames everything but fails to reflect on her own actions. This is a common trait among suspects. No matter how much they scrutinize others' mistakes, they often believe every action of theirs is justified. So you didn't look at my ID. You no, didn't I, talk to the arresting I officer. Personally didn't yet, no. The officer doesn't know if I'm from Oswego, but he pulled me over. So this is a lie. Where is your marshal? Is he here? We don't have Where's your marshal. sheriff? Not marshal. Where's your sheriff? We have a supervisor. If you I want, want to talk the to him. sheriff because what we, you just told me. The sheriff's probably not going to come What you right just now. told me did not align. Um, but I'm on the ground, up, like obstructing justice. That makes no sense. I don't care who he is. He would be a hero right now. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay. So, so what? What did he say? Uh, do you want him to take your vehicle? The hero could have the vehicle. That's why I left it so I could walk home. I have no gas. I was okay. going to safety. That's why I left it there. I wanted them to drive it. I wanted to keep okay. working out and walking home. It's literally you pushed me in the driveway. Why couldn't I walk home? Best I hope I'm the order. I can't. Why couldn't I walk home? Best. We ain't even talk, nigga. What are you talking about? I know. I know. That's so why so why I'm on the floor? It's not in. It's not in equity. It's unjust. How is my actions just? I say in Oswego. Dictated. You're the one I want. Anyways, why why you got me on the ground? Oh my God, my. Uh, you want to put your shoes on or no? Should I put my shoes on, man? Because you keep saying or no. Did I want to get on the ground? Yes or no? Did I want to get pulled you over? Yes or no? Or no? Can you help me put my shoes on, man? Of course. Can when you, you weren't here, they push. went down my pants and touched my ass. Finally. The suspect was escorted to the back seat of the car and began the transportation process to the jail. You touched me again. No, I'm touching the handcuffs. Okay. Yeah, I'm sucking up. Just know how I look at you and everybody else. Thing. It's like you got a camera. No, I, I know you. Can I get in or stay like yeah. this? What do I do? Do I get in or do I stay like this? Just, oh, just, just, just stand. Do I go like this? And okay. She's just getting the I don't know what to do. How do I get in? I've never. Just sit down. Thank you. You're doing get great. Get in here like this? Yep. Under the thing? Yeah, exactly. Just so you know everything yep, in here is recorded, okay? Closer. Okay. Everything is audio and video yep, recorded, yep, yep. okay? Breathe because it's fake okay. hair. You see what I'm saying? I'm I have for asthma. You. I can't breathe with it in my face. That's what he did when I was on the street. He just looked. Here, I'm going to move it for you, okay? okay. Behind now your back, you okay? It. Oh, see how hard it is, right? Yep. Yep, with no hands. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what I said to fly at. Maybe it'll help if you answer questions the way I'm asking them so I can understand. You see what I'm saying? You might be black and think it's okay. I might be white and think it's all right to be quiet. Totally different in the car. Why would I be in the car if my name's not me? Nah, nope. The woman was charged with resisting arrest twice and one count of assault. It's difficult to understand how the main character in this video, a teacher, with such ethical standards and arrogance, thinking she's above the law, could teach anything good to her students, isn't it? She should be suspended from her teaching credentials to attend classes on basic behavior again. Only after obtaining a diploma from these classes should her eligibility for teaching be reconsidered. Do you think this is a worthy measure to consider? Leave your thoughts in the comments below the video to share your opinion. The next incident is equally intriguing. In this story, we'll meet Kaylee, the drama queen. On October 21st, 2022, the police received a report regarding a conflict. Upon arriving at the scene, the woman who had called earlier approached the officer and described the situation to him. Shortly after, a girl mentioned in the story appeared, and the police had a brief exchange with her. How's it going, man? 
Did you guys call? My daughter, she got in a fight. Uh-huh. And like, well, she's her friend from Arizona. So you guys can see because she says that she take her money. So she don't know I have her here. Check no, sir. I Would you like a quick one? Yo tengo mi propio dinero porque no sé. Did you get in a fight? Did you get in a fight right now? Yeah, I did. Okay, can you go ahead and take a seat? They got drunk. And she called me that they got in a fight. And they come and they run. Can you take care of her? Go, 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 go. Hey, man, where are you going right now? I'm gonna tell you that it's too much. Okay. I need you to. Can, can I have you sit over here, man? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. So I need you to stand right here. You know what? Can I talk to him? Uh, 981 Glit. Yes, sir. Okay, just take a seat for right respect. now. I want to talk to him. Can mom. you go ahead and send me an additional unit? Can I talk to your mom? Um, so right now, we're, I'm trying to separate you. Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this, man. I need you to sit down for right but now. But it's not with you, sir. But I am involved right now because I'm here. You just can you tell me what's going on? He's my friend, sir. Well, what happened? Tell me what happened. I want to talk to her mom, sir. Ma'am, Ma'am she wants yeah. to talk to you. Um, can she talk to you? I'm to get together. Uh, okay, she's over there right yeah. now. The girl had a conversation with her friend's mother and got involved in another dispute. Well, that's what she told me. That's good. You guys, hold on. She says that you guys get drunk, and she says that she was sitting down. I don't, I don't know. She has that all look at that thing is because I opened the door for you. And you guys told me to come and walk in the, in the park. I know what you guys You guys don't have to drink in menace in the park. It's a, they're kids here. They're kids. That's a thing, kid. She don't got no control. So you got in, she got in a fight with her right now? Yes. Okay. Can I go ahead and get your name? Yes, oh. sir. It's me. May, it seems like they've been drinking. Mom did not witness the fight, but she doesn't want to tell me that she fought, but... She, she was in an altercation. She has like a little blood here. The officer tried to persuade the girl to abandon the idea of continuing the altercation with her friend, but instead of heeding the officer's advice, she made a bold statement: "I'm going to hit her." And here is the continuation of the story. You know what pursuing charges means? Yes, sir. I, I into this. I know what's going on. I don't want to do nothing like that. All right. Well, then may, maybe you, you get your mom. To sir, I don't in the state, sir. I live in Arizona, sir. Alright, so what is it that I can help you with? I just need my glasses, sir. Okay, I've provided you with options and they're... I just want my glasses, sir. Okay, well, if you find her, ask her to give them back. I'm gonna beat her if I see her, sir. Well, do nothing you might be mad, sir. If she wants to pursue charges, I potentially issue a warrant for your arrest. It's, like, really easy. You guys are escalating this way out of proportion. If she wants her glass, if you want your glasses, you could go ahead and talk to mom and you could guys go your own way if you guys don't want to pursue. You understand that? Yes, sir. 3 30 okay. tomorrow. You want to talk to mom and see yes, if she'll help you out? Yes, sir. Okay. How old is I your daughter? How old is your daughter? She's 22. Okay. She's older. Well, I, there's not much more we, we, me or this guy can well, do for what you. What if they start getting on a fire again? Then you'll have to call us back. Unless they both want to get arrested for public affray. But I have to witness it. So, by the time you guys come back? Man, so, what she's trying to she, she's trying to get her glasses back. She, she just wants her glasses back and she can go on her own way. And what is the glasses? Um, she says, um... Go drive her around. around. While the officer was talking to the mother, another chaotic scene involving the two girls unfolded. They quickly rushed to separate the two girls. But due to the intense fear, the remaining girl continued to resist and she even attacked the officer. I told you, I told you. Hey, who's that? Ma'am, I need you to come. Coming. The cops are coming. Hey, stop. 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 Hey, an aspect to consider in this case was the attitude of the mother when the officers had to use specialized tools to separate the two girls. Perhaps the girl's behavior is also partly influenced by the mother's parenting style. She may have never been told, no. Parents should reconsider their approach to parenting if their child finds themselves in similar situations. Man, we try to avoid. You didn't want to press charges, man. Okay, so I can press them directly. Hey, this is my other hand. What the? Hey, this is my other hand. What the? 
I'm popping! Look at me! What the f***? Why you got a weapon on me? Why you got a weapon on me? What the f***? I don't like that! Stop. Hey! Stop. Look at my hand! I'm cooperating! Stop! Oh. Stop. This is my other hand! Come on! Look at me! F*** you! Kill me! I don't have a gun! Look at me! What the f***? Look at my other hand! Oh, you think you're more me? You think you're more me or what? Let her go! Due to their aggressive behavior and intense resistance, both girls were arrested by the police and escorted into police vehicles. I'm gonna put you sort of back. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the unit. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. I need you to listen, man. Hey, man. Man, I need you to come down. Hey, Kelly. Hey, no, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna stop until he's in the car. Ma, it's a car, ma. You're going to jail. I don't give a f. Let me see my mom go in the car. Your mom is fine. We got medical care. Let her. me see her. Let me see you go in the don't I'm not Yeah, you are. I don't have my phone. Oh, can I get my phone? Have you seen female 15? Oh! She has me to the car. Have you seen her? Have you seen Sit down. Slide all the way to the other side. The fire department's gonna check you out real quick. No! Right? I want my mom! Where's my your mom? Your mom's in the car. <laughs> okay, where's my backpack? I don't know where your backpack is. I don't know where your stuff is at. Okay, why do you guys have me arrested then? A second, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read you something, okay? <sighs> My rights, I know you're You sir. have the right to remain silent, anything you say can, will, and... I'm cool with crap, it's cool with me, man. Alright. I love some... God and I, I don't believe in violence. Try to put this on. So we're gonna try to put your jacket back on. Yeah. Right, what happens when you have friends that can't yeah. drink? So just a concern right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mother shocked by the chaotic scene moments ago, was being escorted to a resting area by others. No, Dan. She, yeah, she's, 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 she's just having a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm just coming so you can check her out as well. Yeah. <laughs> before you all get in trouble, I just give you a chance. So you basically... Yeah. <laughs> After explaining everything clearly to the girl, the officer decided to release her. We're going to release you here right now. As far as my things, she wants, uh -huh. to my give me a sec, can you let me explain all this for Okay, so, you're released. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you just a criminal citation. After this, you're released, so we're gonna take off the handcuffs. But what we want to avoid is we don't want the mom to come, especially you that got in a fight with her daughter. Mm -hmm. it's, she's gonna. So we're gonna take off the handcuffs, but we're, we're offering you for, away from here so she mm -hmm. does not. As for Kaylee, she was transported to jail. You're not gonna spit anymore or anything? You good? <laughs> Kaylee was charged with disorderly conduct, assaulting a peace officer, and resisting arrest. Well, you're talking to me like a dog. Stay or what? Okay, well, I know my rights. Okay, fantastic. Well, Can one I of your rights let is my the right to remain silent. Know? On March 16th, 2024, police in Florida encountered a speeding vehicle recklessly swerving on the road. An officer promptly turned on the patrol car's lights and began pursuing the vehicle. Upon realizing they were being pursued, the driver accelerated, narrowly avoiding a collision with a deer on the road. The driver was reportedly seen making obscene gestures at the police through the rearview mirror, demonstrating defiance. After the siren was activated again, the vehicle finally came to a stop.
Why are you getting out of the car? Step back. Step back. I did not tell you to get out of the car. Walk to the back of your car. Car. Walk to the back of your car. Walk to the back of your car. To the back. To the back of your car. Under the laws of Florida and many other states, drivers should not voluntarily exit their vehicles during a traffic stop without specific orders from the police. This action may be considered non-compliance with police directives and could potentially create unsafe situations for both the driver and the police. In this case, the female driver not only exited her vehicle but also displayed a defiant and uncooperative attitude, which escalated the situation to an extremely tense state. Scott! Turn around. I, Turn. I don't feel safe. Okay. I'm gonna call Turn, around. Turn around. Do not reach into your bag. Turn around. Okay. You see this, right? Turn around. Are you a newbie? How long you been on the force, dude? Scott! Turn around! Place your hands behind your head. For what? what Place your hands you behind your head. You're driving off the side of the roadway. You didn't use your turn signal and you're speeding when you're you passed joking, me. You're right? Place your hands behind your head. Now turn around. And put your hands behind your head. Can I get my boyfriend? No. Put your hands behind your head. I'm 35 years okay, old. Okay, you're an mother adult and you can do this yourself. I'm a mother of three. Look, ma'am, I don't want to hurt you, but if you don't listen to me, the woman was later identified as Darla Vittle, aged 35. Based on the aggressive behavior, uncooperative attitude, and the officers detecting of a faint smell of alcohol on the driver, these pieces of evidence led the police to the decision to arrest the woman. You're going to tase me? I will have to if you don't listen oh. to me. Place your hands behind your head. You're a little pumped up. Why are you squeezing my hand so hard? Because you keep Dude, not listening. I, do you know who the... Well, you smell like alcohol, too. Maybe okay. that's why you're swerving all over the road. Mm -hmm. Dennis Ward is. Why don't you? Because I don't need to. Well, you might have to. What does he have to do with this traffic stop? Uh, it's really... You're joking. How long have you been in the force? What year are we at? I'm a seventh generation okay. Floridian. You probably aren't... Please? Like, you're talking to me like a dog. Say or what? Okay, well, I've given you orders what? as a normal human, and you don't seem no, to respond to that. No, you're not. You're talking to me like I'm an animal. Look at your hand pressing on me, bro. You don't okay. have to touch me. I do. I'm not a criminal. I don't have drugs on me, dude. I don't have any pot. Stop. Uh, please call your supervisor. No. Why? Because I don't need to. Call your supervisor. I don't need to. I think you do. What kind of police state is this, dude? I hate this, man. Are you... Really? Yeah, you're going my to jail. Purse? Going to jail for what? For can I resisting. get my purse? No. Resisting? When you don't can listen to me. Can I get my cash me? out of my purse so I can make okay. bond? Sit down. You're going to jail. For what? First off, you're drunk and you're driving a car. I'm not drunk and driving. Let okay. me blow. Be that can as I it blow? may. You're resisting. Those who say, I know my rights, often lack credibility and don't truly understand their rights as they claim. Surely, Darla is likely one of them. Can I blow? No. Not right now. I know my rights. Okay. Fantastic. Well, can one I of your rights is the right to remain silent. Know? I suggest you do that mm -hmm. right now. You can call him at the jail. Put your feet in. I don't know his phone number. Put your feet my in, please. My phone's dead. What's your name? Can hey, I need you, you to put your you feet in the car. Can you look me up and make sure I'm not a criminal? You can't just take me like this. The woman underwent a significant attitude change, abandoning her initial aggressive shouting demeanor for a gentler expression. While conversing with the officer, Darla sought reasons, even sharing family stories to garner sympathy from the police. I can not actually. Kids and a job like. Yep. Can, my purse is. Yep. I'll get it. Can we have a Put talk? Please in. don't take me to jail. Are you serious? Yes, you're going to jail, Darla. Can you get all the money out of my yep. my keep, my? Keep your feet. I in need there. my money okay. out of my. Um, need... Please, can you get my money? Change. Okay. Like so, the ticket, please. I'm a good, outstanding citizen. I'm a mother of three. I'm a member of this community. I'm not drunk. I'll blow for you. Like I'm good. It just pan. It's you scared me. I've been dating this guy that lives here for about six months. Um. Yeah, we just got in a fight. And his name is Scott. Mm -hmm. Scott what? Can, Scott Harkness. You can actually come in with me to get my stuff. Okay. Well, your response to all of this was not correct. Well, I'm. I tried to pull you over way back there when you turned, and then you, when I have my lights on, and then I put the siren on, you speed away from I me. I didn't see you, but, and I'm crying. He just broke up with me at the, we went to Winn-Dixie, mm -hmm. our office. We worked for Keller Williams next okay. to the liquor store. The thing is, your response to everything that just happened, I have to take you to jail. Okay. Can I at least get my wallet so I can pay to get out of jail? In my glove box. 
in your glove box. There's a wallet. Okay. At least tell him like to come get me because I don't want to walk from Key West. I thought you guys just broke up. He's going to come pick you up? I'm sure. If You smell like alcohol I'm too. I'm going to be stuck in Key West and I'm either going to be walking or I would hope that you would let him know to come pick me up. Okay. Can I have my wallet? Yeah, I'll go and get it. my glove box? Yep, I'll go get it. Thanks. As the officer went to retrieve necessary items from the woman's car, she was brewing up a storm of rage in the back seat of the police vehicle. Oh my god! I'm I'm done with society. I'm gone, bro. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh, I am done, dude. Come on, dude. I don't like you. Oh my god. Hey, you know it's tax time, and I have three kids kids and I got back taxes so I, say, I don't know why you're making a public display go catch real bad guys not like a mother of three trying to better herself Darla are you bipolar by any chance no I'm just I was I backed the blue till y'all made me black and blue and I don't, I'm gonna plead the fifth and just keep my mouth shut and we're just deputy John Lane I would give you my badge number I don't yeah one. I don't care you sound younger than me and it's hard to respect well, and ageist. I get it you if you have three kids and you're seasoned and you How do you, you know, know I don't have seven kids? kids bro I've traveled the whole world a low enough octave for you to have both that top no please don't tell my car please Scott even though Darla had been apprehended the saga was far from over her ex-boyfriend whom Darla mentioned earlier showed up at the scene after being briefed by the police about the situation, he expressed dissatisfaction with the police handling, relentlessly questioning them as if he were the suspect's personal attorney. Hello, is that your girlfriend, Darla? It is. Okay, so she's gonna go to jail. For what? Well, she tried to run from me, and, and I gave her a lot of orders to go back to her car and turn around, and she wouldn't do it. I think we're done talking, if you don't understand how that's illegal. Do you have any other questions? I guess not. She's going to go to Key West Jail. What was she getting pulled over for? I get that, but she is my concern, so you should owe me some answers. Are you her lawyer? Are you a lawyer? Dude. I'm not. I'm a I get that. You see what she's doing right now, right? This is why she's going to jail. That's not illegal behavior. If I tell you with this badge and these lights on, if I tell you Actually, I to, to back away from me, be, there has to be a crime committed for you to arrest somebody, right? Okay. On what suspect? What crime did she commit? You do. By what? What? As, a, as an employee to me, you need to. An employee un, to you. you. I pay taxes, right? Scott, we're done talking. No, no, no. We're unless not. you want to no, go no. in the back of my car as well. It, for what crime? Okay. Well, you're so standing what? in the middle of the street right now. So you are can't you. do that. Yeah, so I know. You. I'm on a traffic stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. What crime did she commit? Again, you're not her lawyer. She needs to understand her rights as a basic I human don't have being. to explain that yes, to you. Yes, you do. What I don't crime? have to tell you that. Yes, you do. Then tell her that. These two shouldn't have broken up. They share the same disruptive personality traits and would make a perfect match living together. One harasses from within, while the other makes a scene from outside. They complement each other so well. After some back and forth, the officer handed the man a business card so he could continue his complaint process. The woman also began the transportation process to jail. Excuse me, sir! Excuse me, hello! So I don't understand. Thing, you're not the deciding factor. You're, no, you're nothing involved. I'm just making sure her rights are violated. I need That's to understand why. why. I'm sorry, this is hurting really bad. Can you just like, so tight. Can you unloose it just a little bit, please? This is really hurting my hands. I have a disability and can you please? Are you Again, what crime did she commit by getting out of her vehicle? So we're telling the car, okay? So you can't go over to the car right now. Or what? I'm telling you not to go to the car right now because, what? because what we're towing it. For, oh, that vehicle okay. is seized now, okay? It's How? being towed. How? She's a big girl. She's an adult. You're not her lawyer. You're not her father. And you're acting like a child. Dude, how old are you? 24? I don't know how many times I have to tell you that yes, I don't do. have to tell you that. Why not? Hmm. You're not it my boss. like you're not doing your jobs very well. Okay, then make a complaint. My name is Deputy Jonathan Lane. I'll give you a business card with my name on it. You can call and complain if you would like. You got a card too? You do this often? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Did you tell her what crime she's being arrested for? I did. Can you turn on the AC? It's hot as here, please, can you throw on the AC, please? AC is on. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to drive away because he's uh, a little bit. He can come bail me out of jail. Okay. Can you turn up the song? You're not a bad dude. I get it. I'm like my dad. My dad's military. My uncle's a cop. Like I, I can't wait to go to court. I hope you show up. This will be great. I'm gonna make a documentary. <laughs> 
Oof. The vehicle transporting the woman was intercepted by her ex-boyfriend, disrupting the police's handling of the suspect. As a result, the man was temporarily detained. Yeah, yeah, just, I, baby, Back bail up. me out of jail. Back up. Can you give him my Literally. wallet? Stop. Literally. Stop. Really? Back up. How is it? You want to take him too? What crime is this okay. one? From I just us. Asked for her personal protection. You're throwing stuff on the ground. You smell like alcohol. I'm You're obviously drunk. I'm allowed to be. But I told you yes, already. I don't want you coming up to me because I feel I unsafe you by you. Okay. What in my business attire, bro? Scott, I'll give you one last chance. If you want to walk away, I just want her keys. We'll let you. Thing. She wants to ask her. Okay, ask her. we will ask her. You, you don't walk up like that, acting crazy, littering. Oh, if you want to be technical, that's littering. You're balling your fists up when you walk up to us. You grab I'm it out of his hand. I'll, I'll, I'll you snatched it out of his I'll, hand. I'll, can I have her personal possession? We really don't need we're, to take both of you to jail just because you're upset, no okay? No shit. So I need you to calm yeah, down. Quit wasting my time. Are you going to calm down, Scott? I'm calm. Okay. I'm talking in a calm fashion. Okay. Yeah. She wants them. I will ask her. You should ask her. Okay. This is a traffic stop, though, okay? You have nothing to do with the traffic stop. Okay. If you show up on a traffic stop that I'm legally and lawfully conducting, that she is obstruction. Handcuffed, so. That is obstruction still. Okay. We're still on a traffic stop. I'm telling you not to go to the car because we're towing it. You come back Except over to us in an aggressive possession. manner, making I'm a fist. You possession. grab the card out of his hand, and I'm not doing that, Scott. Okay. Do you understand? Sure. I we understand. can take you to jail, too. We can make this as inconvenient for both of you. A random guy outside of your house, you know? So I don't need to cop. take you to jail for that. I have to take you to jail. Okay? Can you ask her if I can have her shit? Yeah. When given the chance to leave by the police, it's best to flee quickly before you end up in the back of a police car. Never attempt to challenge the patience of law enforcement like this man is doing. I will, babe. Here, we gotta figure it out. Take her wallet with her money. No, I gotta stop. Her babe, get my wallet. Are you dude, kidding me? That's stop. your personal shit. Stop. Okay. Back up. Go away now. This is your last right. chance, dude. You're gonna grab shit out of my. Back up. I'm, back up. I'm on. Back up. You're I'm running not. over to me, I'm walking not. up behind me, grabbing dude, stuff out of my car. Of me? Stop. Goodbye. If you get close Goodbye. to me again. Goodbye. Throughout the arrest and transportation to the detention facility, this erratic woman continued her aggressive behavior hurling insults and curses at everyone around her. Yeah, it's true love. And we're going to have awesome makeup sex. We're going to have the best makeup sex when he picks me up out of jail. So much. Oh my God, he's taking my car out of a residential parking lot where my boyfriend lives. Let me guess, he only takes cash to get my car back. Are you serious, bro? You have to turn up some AC or let me go out of these. I am suing Monroe moron County. Ah, uh, that's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. This is a racket. They only take cash. No paper trail. You guys are, uh, they're on your paper. And then uh, they only take cash when I go pick up my I can't, I'm going to document this. Your face, you're going to be famous, bro. I've been waiting for, this is it. This is, this is, I'm going to make you famous. You and your, your homeboy. You guys are rookies. You're going to learn today. I promise you. Are we, what are we waiting for? Take me to the jailhouse, please. Your boyfriend keeps coming outside and Who getting cares? in the middle Come of on, this investigation. Come on, let's get in the program. We're not dealing with him, dude. You got a backup squad here. Come on, we're not violent offenders. You're about to taser me, dude. Just wait. I'm going to make you famous. I'm a journalist, you f I've had enough. Take me to the jail, bro. What are we waiting for? Thank you. Thank you for doing this. I'm seventh generation Floridian, bro. I know everybody up and down. I'm gonna go get a private island. I work for Keller Williams and Big Vine for Rosedale, and I'm gonna buy the biggest. I ain't, I ain't talking to you. I'm not talking. I'm not cooperating. You're. A you need to give me a ticket. To the I'm tired. I'm going through a breakup. No, it's you pull your taser and you're going to jail. I want to talk to your supervisor. He can he can meet us at a substation wherever we talk, but I do have a right to talk to a supervisor, so you have to do that. Let me blow, bro. Let me blow, bro. You are a Nazi. You're a Nazi. Nazi. You're a Nazi. I've asked you to loosen up my handcuffs several times and you've declined, so I will be getting an attorney and I'm in pain and I'm just asking you to free this up a little bit like several times bro so you know what I hope you suffer and your family suffers the way I'm suffering and don't get treated correctly because what goes around comes around Carmen's a bitch bro upon arrival at the detention facility the woman was asked to perform a sobriety test 
but she seemed reluctant to cooperate with the police. Blaming the officers for all her faults to justify her actions, she requested her handcuffs to be loosened, and upon approval, the sobriety test was finally conducted. To do this. No, I'm gonna ask you to do field sobriety exercises. Take my blood or take my breath when you pulled me over on the side of the road. You should have got me to go out and do all that. You should have done that there because now I'm stuck here and I can't go, so why would I? So you don't want to do the field sobriety exercises? I'm already in handcuffs. We're in jail, bud. This is too tight. Come on. Take my my breath and my blood. That's can not you, how it works. Can you? A little bit. Can you loosen it up and I'll cooperate with you because it's too tight. Can you meet me in the middle, please? Halfway. I checked your handcuffs when I put them on. Just a little bit. I will work with you, bro. Just oh, thank you so much, bro. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check your eyes, okay? Have you ever done this before? Where I, no. I will, okay. Well, like I said, you smell like alcohol, so I okay. just need to make sure you're not drunk. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is have you look at the tip of my finger right there. Tip of my finger with your eyes yeah. and do not move your head. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. So just your eyes, don't move your head. The suspect was charged with resisting an officer without violence and fleeing or attempting to elude law enforcement personnel. She was released on bail of $5,000. The charge of fleeing or attempting to elude law enforcement personnel was dismissed in court, reducing the offense from a felony to a misdemeanor. Get up! Okay. Obviously, you are sleeping on the sidewalk. He is Stop. standing up. Aaliyah. He is standing Aaliyah. up and he is Aaliyah. fine. Stop. I know my Stop. rights. Stop. I know my rights and I am not... Stop. Next, let's delve into the case of these three individuals who believe they have the entitlement and confidence to stand above the law. You're Stop. sitting on her, so go. I'm not, I'm not, you're gonna punch me to punch her. Stop. You're gonna punch her, punch me to punch her. On August 20th, a patrol officer approached two unconscious men lying on the sidewalk. Everything was going smoothly until a woman appeared, claiming to be the fiance of one of the two men. She approached and fiercely defended them, turning what was supposed to be a normal encounter into a tense struggle, and ultimately, chaos ensued. Get up. Hey. Sit up. I'm working on it, man. We're working on it, bud. Hey. Yeah. You good? PD, get up. Get up. Working on it. What do you want? What? Get up. Okay. Obviously, you are sleeping on the sidewalk. Get up. What's up, man? Waiting on a ride. Waiting yeah. on your ride. Yeah, man. Have you guys been drinking today? No, I'm not out of it. I'll talk to you whoever you want to talk to. Seriously? No, we're good. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm ready with you. Can you do me a favor? Can you step step aside? No, I'm with them. Okay, you what step aside. Step aside. Hey, I'm not dealing with you right now. Step aside. I need to know what is going on. That's we're my good. fiance. That's hey, my best good. friend. We're good. We're good. Have a right to know. Oh, and you're good. You're good. I promise you, you're good. I promise you. Step aside. I did step aside. Your driver's license. Step aside more than. Here's, here's Here's my license that I could drive a plane. Steve Rush all the way here. She's not part of this. She's not. I am part no, of the no, fiance. Hey, you're not. These two are sleeping on the man. sidewalk. Was I, was I physically asleep? When you to make sure that you guys are okay. Come on, Obviously, come on, you got up. Come on, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey. 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 I'm better. Hey. Don't come at me like I was asleep. Hey. I walk a straight line. Right. Okay. Okay. No, no, Daniel. Yeah, what are you Stop. doing? Stop. Stop. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Stop. It doesn't matter what Those people have nothing to do with you. You start cussing and flicking people off again, you're going into jail for disorderly please conduct. Do you understand me? I have not disrespected you. No, you disrespected them and you're dis yes, Stop talking. Okay. And you're disrespecting this town. Do you understand me? Sir, have I disrespected you? Yes. Okay. I have. I what? apologize. I haven't disrespected you, sir. I went to go really? Have right in front. Hold on. Have I came at you in any type of way? Right? Yes, absolutely. Your Let's job is to keep the peace. Okay. So okay. when I so when so I have how, you, how do I feel when I'm when I'm coming up and I'm trying to take care of my buddy? I'm waiting for a friend. This is my friend. She's my friend, and he is my friend. I'm not trying to and do anything wrong. I'm trying okay. to take care of him. Okay. Stop talking. To... Stop. I got. It. And you sit here and I don't you think start. I, did. I don't think I did. Stop. You start flicking you people off who have nothing to do with it. Sitting right across the street from me, bro. Yeah, it's a neighborhood. Why is, this Why is this child there? That's a young child. Stop. I need you to tone it down. Kevin. I need you to tone it down. The woman actively involved herself in the police investigation, interrupting the suspect's statements and fiercely defending her soon-to-be husband.
She claimed that all three of them were here to scout a wedding venue for their upcoming October wedding. For a place to go have our like reception. And we were looking so for looking a place to have a reception well, down here. Yes. Okay. Daniel, we're trying to talk to Kevin. Please, 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 okay, so please stop. I mean, That's what we were doing, is we were down here trying to have a good time. He doesn't drink, find our vehicle, so I can come pick them back up. We had a 32-ounce margarita, Okay. and he doesn't, he doesn't drink. Okay. He doesn't drink at all. So that's why I went to go find a car on the street, but I'm not, we're not from here. We're from trying to figure out like where it was, and I've asked multiple neighbors over him, and I need to get him and the vehicle. That's all I need to do. This is my fiance. Oh, this is your fiance? This is my fiance. That's what I said. This is my fiance. This is this what's, his, what's his name? Kevin. In this story, the girl appears to be resolute and assertive taking on various roles and exerting different influences. Where are you at, buddy? Kevin. Just, hey, eyes up. Kevin. Look at me. Open your eyes. Yes. Yes. That would be amazing, yes. Okay. sir. Yes. Absolutely. You guys don't have a hotel, though, yet, right? We'll get a give hotel me my room, phone. Man. I will grab Uber. My, hey, you I grab my wallet right now. One? I don't give a shit. I don't want no drama. I promise y'all. I Honey. promise y'all I don't want no drama. I promise you I was hey. not information. Okay. I'm good. I promise you I'm good. The urgency in the woman's tone escalated as the officer announced the arrest warrant for her fiancé. She didn't hesitate to demand that the police provide clear details about the arrest warrant. So Kevin's got a warrant. Kevin has a warrant? Yep. From where? Working on it. You well. have, no, you have a warrant. Out of where? Warrant. I don't know. Out of where? Come here. No. Okay, that's not how this is gonna work. This is my fiance. Okay. I need to know exactly what's going on. We can take your information. No, that's not gonna do. That's that's this, bullshit. You are not You're running not this gonna take right now. Where, where you are. he is stop. standing up. Aaliyah. He is standing Aaliyah. up and he is Aaliyah. fine. Stop. Actually, what you're doing is you're assaulting no. me because all he did was just stand. stand. Well, no. He is you're gonna standing. Stay here. Is where his warrant is from, who his warrant was issued by, and what county it was coming out of. Okay, I don't have to tell you anything. Yes, you do. Okay, so I am going to get my phone. No. I know my rights. Sit. I know my rights, and I am not a victim. Grab my phone. Sit. Certainly, holding the phone in her hand would make the woman feel more reassured. The situation became more chaotic with the yelling of the friend and the intervention of the woman, complicating the arrest of Kevin, her fiancé. For what? He's Wait, not resisting! I'm not resisting! Uh, if I, if I, he is not resisting, he is not resisting you! Michael Benson! He is not resisting you! He is not resisting you! He was not resisting you! I'm not resisting! I'm not resisting! He was not resisting you! I'm not resisting! They're abusing me! Help! 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 My hands are behind my back. What I'm compliant. Get on your side. You. Get on your side. You. You. Turn around. Put your hands on. You. You piece of shit. I didn't pay to do it. I can't pay. I'm not fighting. That's it. Tell me exactly. Hey, am I fighting? The act of shoving the phone in the officer's face and demanding his name is considered one of the most assertive moves by suspects, as they feel they found a vulnerability in the police. The determination and readiness to fight displayed by this woman are undeniable. A slight provocation is enough to trigger her fighting instinct. However, what she needs to remember is that her tone and expression are projecting a fearsome image. Even though she says, I comply 100%, I'm not resisting. In reality, the way she conveys this message is enough to create strong resistance. What do you think? What are you? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? George, do you have another pair? George! George what? George what? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Let go of my hand. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. What am I arrested for? Stop. I am sitting. I want a answer! You did not give me one, which according to the Constitution, because I swear to God, whatever f***ing badge that you own, according to my... Lawyer will be mine. The wrong way. Tell me my f***ing rights. What are Tell they? me huh? what I f***ing did wrong. I was 100% compliant with him. I was not aggressive towards you. I was not aggressive towards him. She, hey, at all. Does your, does your partner disagree? Is he okay? Yeah, he's good. Is he? Are you sure? Are we, do we respect you as a Look at me in my 
fucking face. As an done? adult human being. Look at me in my face. Was not combative oh, towards no. him. I was 100% compliant with you okay. both. So you're being charged with resisting. You're being charged with disorderly conduct. Really? Read them to me. Because I swear what? to God, I will Resisting come for what? Because no, I was me. not resisting when read you arrested me. him. That is asking you what his charge was. I have the right to do so. You're full of shit, bro. Okay. I'll tell you right now. I'm tell me. You to court. Now, get down I'm here. I'm going to court with tell you, me. homie. You're showing up to tell me, with me. what no was my crime than I am. resisting for what? what because I, I was 100% compliant with him. What his f***ing charge was conduct or his warrant was out of where yep. you didn't answer that. You still you answer. did not. You have not. You are a f***ing you're you are a disgrace to your f***ing dis badge. Do you, you know why you're, you're a disgrace to your badge? Because when I you asked you with their aggression and imposition, it seems like a prudent decision to immediately transport these two individuals to jail. Those around them have to endure the torment of their tone and words. Despite believing they comply with the law and know their rights, their actual behavior is entirely contrary. You should have f***ing told me. You know, what was his charge? Where was it out of? Where was it out of? Uh, you didn't answer the simple, basic question. You could not answer. You haven't read us our f***ing rights. You are f***ing wrong in every f***ing level of the f***ing sense, bro. You were acting like it. That's because he's got I'm some f***ing... Really what, what the, the f*** did I disorderly contact him. Dude. The right to check on my f***ing Don't f***ing touch me. What you touch me as is constitu as constituted as... Well, Hello. One time. Amidst the chaos at the scene, EPT was summoned to provide assistance. Meanwhile, the officer approached Kevin to prepare for his transport. While his fiance continued to argue with the police, Kevin intervened to stop her. This indicates he seems to have more respect for the police than his fiance. What's up? Baby? Talk to me uh, like a man, bro. Uh, I'm not okay? talking to you. Be You're quiet. talking to me right now. Do we have homie? another person? I'm looking at him. Oh, are you? I can't Baby. hear you. What do you want? Baby. I want nothing, man. Kevin. Be quiet. Okay. Baby. Thank you. Kevin. Do you have any masks? Baby. You haven't done nothing Stay wrong. where you are. I haven't read my right. Stop. We don't have to touching me. Stop shit, moving. I did nothing to you. Resisting. For what? How? Because I. These two individuals need to learn from others about how to restrain their attitudes and respect the police. Keeping quiet and complying with requests could have avoided such a difficult situation. Calmness and respect are key in every situation, especially when encountering law enforcement. Kevin, get on your side. I'm fine, sir. Get on your side. If you don't stop them, please, sir, sir. I'll stop them if they're leaving. You good? You good? Yeah. I'm hot, hot rescue right now. Don't worry, right? Please help me. You stop. You good? He is a baby. Stop. I didn't do anything. It's cool. He's a disgrace to us. They're dropping me on my arms. Baby. Pulling me on my face. Why are you touch me? Touch me again, and I swear to God. Yeah, you're dirty. I appreciate the point. Yeah, before it even got fucking started. Touch me again. I'm yes. I've not been read my rights yet. Stop touching me. I'm literally checking on him. I am doing nothing to you. You. Piece of shit now. Right okay. No, I am sitting right here. I don't have a. You listen to me. Listen to me. Stop. Listen to me. Stop fucking touching me. Stop touching me, bro. You don't need to do that. Don't stop away. Touching me. He, she, she won't. Please. You're sitting on her, so I'm not. I'm not fucking. You're gonna punch me. Punch her! Stop. You're gonna punch her! Punch me to punch her! The officer had a brilliant response to the foolish remarks made by the suspects. The aggressiveness and reactions of these two individuals are escalating as they curse, yell, and falsely accuse the officer. You're too emotional! Oh, I still situation. have my teeth? No, you are take way too emotional! Off. You need to take a step take back them off, and realize, realize the law that you were trying to uphold. Baby! Stop! Ben then move! No! If that was your wife, wait, you don't have one. Cause your is too small. Get the out of the way. I agree with that. No, it is. His mother probably hates him. Baby! 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 Bacon, stop! Stop touching me! Stop! Hey, darling, darling, darling. <laughs> no, he do not. No drugs. No drugs. Just alcohol. Just alcohol, man. I mean, if he's certified, he is not a certified.
Any drugs? No drugs. Oh. Not really, bro. Right. <laughs> Not really. In the police car, the girl suddenly undergoes a complete transformation from her initial aggressive demeanor to one of tears and innocence. She cries like a child, trying to find reasons to explain and defend her actions. And when I walked up, all of this was happening. Okay. I literally walked up from down there. The cops were out here. Okay. And I asked them why, when they told me that my fiance was being arrested, out of what county was the warrant issued? And I wanted to know if okay. this officer that was sitting right here, that's right here that drives this vehicle. That's that's kind of a misconception that we're required to answer questions. But all I He doesn't to have to tell you who's being arrested and for what. But he didn't say anything. He, again, he doesn't have to. So then I'm just supposed to wonder? When he's dealing with three people, there's no reason for him to stop and say, time out, nobody, everybody stop sir, arguing and fighting. Not being less than cooperative. I'm not I saying ran, you. I ran up at him not knowing who I was. Right. That's going to look like, what the f is going on? Kevin is my fiance. Okay. Daniel is his best man. Okay. I deserve to know. We're down here looking at places. Okay. But let me, let me explain this real quick, too. Okay. I got here probably 20 minutes after the... Yeah, and happened, I was right? being aggressive and nasty. I mean, imagine what it was like before everybody was put in okay, handcuffs. Okay, but before it was put in handcuffs, okay. and you can go get videos from f everybody. That Aaliyah, right? I did, yes, okay, I did okay. go in that fence where Aaliyah. we were in front of. Aaliyah, again. I just want to know why I'm going to jail, because I just tried He told to... me that officer and resisting but what violence. what battery did I do? Because I tried battery to is push a away from me as I was trying to go check on my fiancé. That would be the battery and the resistance. Because I pushed him away yes. from me. I'm sorry. I did not want to do that, but I was literally trying to go check on him. During the journey to the prison, the woman continues to plead her case. However, she still fails to grasp why she's facing these consequences. Her life has been shielded by indulgence and arrogance, making her impulsive and difficult to control. Will this journey help her awaken and learn from her actions? I told you that. How is he? Well, he was fine. He looked okay when they were leaving. Why am I going to jail? You resisted and why? you kicked me and you scratched me. I so that's three things. You. I tried to push you away from me. Well, I hope in the future you can make better choices. Are you serious? Do you mean to tell me if I didn't push you off at me that I would be going home? Uh, it would have helped your chances. You know, but then there was like 15 people that watched you kick me. And that's not okay. On more than one occasion, I asked you why. Did I not tell you he had a warrant? No, you told me he had a warrant, and when I asked you why? I said burglary. No, you did not. You stood there quiet because your partner f***ing answered. Did not say that to me. Oh, you changed the question. For something that was not even my fault. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. I moved over and moved my feet to try to get on my feet. That's a bit of a strip. I'm not saying you're lying, but you're lying. You're not saying I'm lying, but I'm lying. But I kind of am. But you're well, saying I'm lying. But, I, well, I guess I literally... At the same time, other officers also begin the process of transporting the remaining suspects. I was literally asleep when this mother came up on me, man. You do, you do understand you're asleep on the sidewalk, right? I get that, bro. Okay. It's America. Who did I disturb, bro? How do you disturb somebody when you're asleep? I got put in room. I got told I was disturbing the peace the moment I woke up. How can you disturb somebody? Sir, you were flipping off a little kid across the street from I you. I was flipping off the man. There was a little you kid over the there. I was in there was a little. You, you weren't in handcuffs in yet. Video, you were flipping you, people sir? off. You weren't in handcuffs. Why don't you stop talking? Hey, no, you were I'm flipping off a little kid. How do you feel about that? You were that flipping off a little man. kid. You I'm were yelling and cussing in front of a kid. You gonna bring up a child on me? Yep. That's what you gonna bring up. That's your argument. You really deeply believe I was flipping off a kid. Yep, you were flipping off a kid. I'm looking at you right now. I think you should treat kids better. Kevin was transported to the hospital for treatment before the police began the process of transporting him to jail. While leading the suspect to the vehicle, he admitted that he had a history of being imprisoned three times. Just a little bit. Oh, oh am I being rude? Am yeah. I the one being rude? I mean, on a push-up challenge, take me no, out. I won't fight I, you. You definitely don't want to. I'll, 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 I'll bet money. You don't want to do either of those I, things. I, I, it's <laughs> you're fat. All right, let's, let's. What's your What's your two-mile time? My two-mile time? Yeah. Under 14. I bet you I'll beat you. Okay. Anyway, what's your name there, winner? 
Oh, uh, and f your mom. That's what it is. Yep. Do you work? I don't a lot. think she's hiring. Yes. Yeah, oh, this has been a wonderful. I night. bet. Oh my pants. You threw up. Don't you remember? No. No. Crying. No. Thank God. Sorry, my brother just told me uh, I cried like a little and threw up and it was just. Like, I'm asking. So I'm gonna start peeing myself in like ten. Nine. Five, I'm about to lose more functions on my feet, so you guys are gonna be dragging me. Three. No. Alright. Okay, another charge. Resisting. It's not resisting. I you fell. are resisting. I fell. How is that? How Kevin? You're refusing me my human rights, so I can't. Kevin, stand, stand up. I'm gonna spray you if you don't stand up and walk. You are You're walking, aren't you? Maybe. Okay. Am I walking? Alright, okay. I mean, you sweat like crazy. That's crazy, man. How do people go from being a man to having nuts on their lap? Kevin, the man in civilian clothes, was arrested for an outstanding warrant related to theft charges. The woman was charged with assaulting an officer and resisting arrest. The other male suspect, the one in a floral shirt, was charged with disorderly conduct. All three individuals were arrested and taken to jail. From this case, we can see that asserting one's own authority and engaging in confrontation with the police is a foolish action. Therefore, let's maintain civility and calmness when dealing with law enforcement. Life doesn't always go as planned. Knowing how to restrain oneself and respect the law and law enforcement is crucial. Remember, with entitlement comes responsibility for our actions. Maintain dignity and composure when facing law enforcement. Thank you for watching this video and always remember to abide by the law. Goodbye and see you in our next exciting videos.